Now, forget Slade and Mar- Mariah Carey. For many of us, the true beginning of Christmas is marked by nine lessons and carols from King's College, Cambridge. This year is the 100th service, and for the last 90 of those years, it's been broadcast on BBC Radio and picked up by stations around the world. The Director of Music at King's, Stephen Cleabury, has himself overseen a great number of those services. This year will be his 37th and his last. I've been speaking to him about his time at the helm of Carols from Kings and its significance. I do feel the weight of history, but also I feel that because I've been fortunate enough to be entrusted with the musical direction of such a great institution, that I want to feed it sometimes with new material. And that's why each year since 1983, I've commissioned a new carol for the service. So it's a combination of respect for the tradition, but also to nourish it with new growth. How has the style of the service evolved over the century? Successive directors of music have sought to vary the musical diet a little bit from year to year, and that can mean introducing carols that already are in existence but perhaps haven't been sung at the service before. I remember, for example, learning that Silent Night, which we're singing this year in German, Stille Nacht, was the first carol to be sung in a foreign language at the carol service. You established the commissioning of new carols for the service. I think you've said in the past that the service is a noble tradition that needs to be nourished regularly with new growth. Was there a little controversy at the time, perhaps? Yes. In the early years, I did receive quite a number of, how shall I say, uh, sharply worded letters on that subject, and people expressed themselves quite strongly. But I'm happy to say... You're being very polite. (laughs) I'm happy to say that as the years have progressed, that kind of uh, reaction has diminished. And I now get people saying to me, oh, who are you commissioning this year? The service starts with that astonishing moment of purity and with the very first carol. Does it still grab you as it grabbed you in the first days? Oh, very much so. It is a great moment. And for the last two or three years, the BBC have kindly provided me with a pair of headphones so that I can listen to the news bulletin at three o'clock so that I know exactly when the handover to the chapel is going to take place. And then we're in the hands of the red light, which first of all flashes to warn us that the announcement is in progress. It then goes off for about 10 seconds. And when it comes on steady, that's when we start. What of the end? I don't want to dwell on the fact that this is your final service, but this is the 37th year. Is this a difficult moment for you, a moving moment? 
I think it would be both those things. I can't quite predict how I'm going to feel on the, the 24th, but I've invested a huge amount of myself into this for, as you say, 37 years, and I don't imagine that the last service is going to pass without my feeling regretful and sad. And yes, I expect that will happen. Stephen Claybury there.